Welcome everyone. My name is Gail and in this video we're going to focus on twisting and stretching. And the combination is going to feel so good you're just going to be ecstatic. <laughs> like your whole body is going to feel alive and invigorated and more able to move easily and a little bit stronger as well. So I did a shorter video on this that you can check out. Uh, it's more beginner level and this video is going to be a little longer, maybe 30 to 40 minutes. And um, we're going to do some more, I wouldn't call them advanced poses, but a little more challenging poses like revolved half moon, revolved triangle. So I'm so glad that you decided to join me today with this practice and let's get started. So let's start seated. On your inhale, reach your arms up. And on your exhale, twist over to your right, lowering your hands down. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, twist. And then we're gonna start leading with the left hand, bringing it across, and then letting your right hand, your right hand slide off your knee, bringing your right hand behind you, and reach the right arm up and across, sliding the left arm behind you. So we've got a little bit of a cross happening as we're twisting from side to side. And just see if you can make this like an organic flow. Just moving and twisting, rotating back and forth and side to side. We'll now come back to center, bring your arms into a cactus position and we're gonna wrap our arms around each other. We're gonna twist our arms around each other. So bring your right elbow underneath your left elbow. Bring either the back of your hands together, or if you can bring the palms together, do that. Take an inhale, lift your chest up, and exhale, bow. Pulling your elbows towards your belly. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, round. So I call these eagle arms because they're the same twisting arms that you would find when you're doing the full eagle pose. And separate your arms and wrap the opposite arm underneath. Again, inhale up and exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Inhale back up, separate your arms coming into a cactus position. Place your right hand down and place your left hand behind your head. Push your head into your hand. Kind of arch your chest up for a little back bend. And then exhale, reach your elbow towards your knee. And inhale, open up. Exhale, twist. One more time. Inhale, open and lift. Exhale, twist. Come back through center, switch hands. So now your right hand is behind your head. You kind of push your head up into your hand, lift your chest up toward the sky. And then rotate and reach and twist. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Come on back to center. And let's come onto our hands and knees. We'll do something similar. So bring your left hand back behind your left heel and lift your arm across as you press your hips forward and lower down and reach to the other side. And just float back and forth, gliding from side to side, really lifting those hips up, opening up through your chest and back to the other side. Good, come back to center. And in a kneeling position, we're gonna cross our left wrist on top of the right, interlace your fingers, and then rotate, twist your arms toward you, and bow. Inhale, lift up, open up through your chest, and exhale, roll your hands and bow. A couple more times. Inhale, lift, exhale, bow. Inhale, lift up, 
exhale, bow. This time, untwist your arms, coming to a cactus position, and bring the opposite arm on top, opposite pinky finger on top. And we're gonna twist our arms together and bow. And inhale, open up. And exhale, round down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Bring your hands down, coming into tabletop. Twist, <laughs> rotate your fingers towards your knees or as much in that direction as you can manage. And start to lift your tailbone up, sink your ribs down, and press your heart forward, coming into cow pose. And then leading up the tailbone, curl your tailbone under, let your back around to come up. And just go back and forth a couple of times. And then reach back to your hips and forward, stretching out the back of the wrists. Good, sit back on your heels, make fists with your hands. Think of gluing your knuckles together and place the top of your hands on the ground with your elbows bent. Push into your hands, straighten your arms, bend the elbows, release the stretch, and come back into the stretch, lifting and lowering. Now, if your wrists are really tight, your fingers might pop open. That's okay. Just know that we're all different on <laughs> different days and different times. Good, come back into your tabletop. Grip the mat with your fingers and start to lift from your tailbone, arching through your spine. In order to trip, twist, we really need to have our spine flexible in all different dimensions. So just close your eyes and move in all different ways, like just spontaneous movement. Walk your knees back a little bit, spread your knees apart, and sit back on your heels in child's pose. Keep walking your fingers forward as far as they'll go, like almost as if you had gecko hands, so you can grip the mat, and really stretch out your shoulders. Let your forehead rest on the floor with your shoulders lifted, not dropped. But actually, when they're this stretched out, it will be kind of hard to drop them. On your next inhale, Round forward, see if you can go past your wrists, and on your exhale, lift back to child's pose. So inhale, round forward, pass shoulders past the wrist if you can, and exhale, lift your hips and glide back. Inhale forward, and exhale back. And come back up into your tabletop, walk your hands back, come up to kneeling, and step your left foot forward place your left hand in your left thigh and sweep your whoops sweep your right arm over and across for a nice big stretch and bring your right hand back down bring your left hand behind your back open up through the shoulder so you're twisting from your thoracic spine and then reach your arm up so you're already in the twist bring your left hand back down to your leg Reach your right arm up and across and come back, opening up, twisting to your left. Last one like this. So bring your left hand to your left thigh, reach across, puff up through those ribs, bring your hand down, open up through the chest first, then release your arm and come back to your lunge. Bring your, interlace your fingers behind your back reach back through your hands, puff up through your heart, and release your hands, let your arms float up and back. And then step your foot back to kneeling, step your right foot forward, place your right hand on your right thigh, reach your left arm over and across. Inhale back, bring your left hand down, bring your right hand behind your back, nice open twist. And again, hand to your thigh, reach across with the opposite arm. And see if you can do this whole transition nice and smoothly and gracefully. Working with a feeling of 
stability and mobility and grace and control. So glide back into your child's pose. On your next inhale, step your right foot, your left foot forward and reach your arms up. Bring your right hand down, twisting to your left. Keep the twist, reach your right arm forward so that your, your arms are parallel to your legs. And then bring your hands together, bring your hands close to your heart and just tip, bring in your right elbow on top or to the outside of your left knee. Keep your left elbow lifting. Keeping the twist, lift back up. Stretch your arms apart from each other like wings as if you could fly. And then pull your hands together, dip your elbow, and come on back up. Reach your arms out. Last one, palms together. Coming into a prayer twist. And come on back up. Stretch your arms out, sweep the back arm forward and up. And bring your hands down. Step back in the tabletop. Just take a moment here to move your hips around. Get your whole spine moving again. And step your right foot forward. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, twist open. Reaching out through your fingertips. Bring your hands together in prayer position. Tip your left elbow toward the top or the outside of your right knee. Open up through that right shoulder. Lift back up again, holding the twist and reach out through your fingertips. So two more times, bringing the palms together, holding that twist, dipping your elbow down, the other elbow comes up, and then lift up, reach your hands apart. Last one, palms together, prayer twist, lift back up. Reach your hands apart, sweep the back arm forward and up. And bring your hands down, bring your leg back, tuck your toes, and let's come into downward facing dog. And just take a moment here to bend one knee at a time, move back and forth. Just taking time to explore how your ankles feel, how your feet feel, shoulders, arms, torso, whole body. And then walk your hands back to your feet. Lift and spread all your toes. Keep them stretching out as you lower down. Sink your heels into the ground. And come up onto your fingertips Press down through your big toe on and lift your heels up towards your hips and lower your heels down, lift the front of your feet up towards your knees. Just alternate going back and forth, lifting up, lowering down, lifting the front of your foot up. And try and watch your arches, making sure that they don't collapse, that they can move back and forth. And now with your whole both feet on the floor, the whole foot on the floor. Press down through the tripod of your foot, the mount of the big toe, mount of the pinky toe, center of the heel. And focus on your heels staying down. Walk as far forward as you can with your heels down. So it might be only to here, might be a little further. Reach back into your down dog. So the important thing here is that your heels are down, not how far forward you're reaching. And now we're gonna take our right hand and reach towards the left ankle or higher up and twist. Little twisted down dog. Bring your right hand back. Reach your left hand towards your ankle or your calf. Find a little twist. Bring both hands back and walk your feet forward to your hands. Bend your knees, rise up Utkatasana. Press down through your feet, rise all the way up and release your arms by your sides. 
take a moment and just pause here. Noticing how you're feeling. Noticing if you feel very grounded and connected to the earth. And your next inhale, sweep your arms up toward the sky. And as you exhale, hinge at your hips and lower your fingertips towards the earth. Place your hands down, step back into plank. Keep your body nice and strong. Now you're welcome to lower your knees down, but you don't want to dip your pelvis. So keep the pelvis lifted and lower down slowly. Inhale, curl up into your cobra. And exhale, extend your chest long, your spine long as you lower. Inhale, curl up again. And see if you can pull the, the, the feeling of the curve in your back up towards the back of your shoulder blades. So to do that, think of stretching your tailbone towards your heels, a little bit of a posterior tilt action. And then think of drawing up your spine up into the middle back drawing your shoulders back and then exhale lower down tuck your toes press up and back to downward facing dog on your next inhale sweep your right leg up pull your heel to your hip open up like you're trying to reach your knee toward the sky and then hug your knee forward step your foot all the way forward into crescent lunge rise up And just take a couple of pulses here, bending your back knee, being aware of the tilt of your pelvis. So think that you want the pelvic ball to be neutral, so not tipping forward and not tipping back. So find that neutral position, press your feet down firmly into the ground, hug your legs in towards each other. Inhale, reach your arms up, and we're gonna twist, just like we did with our knee down on the ground. And if you need to bring your knee down, that's fine, otherwise try keeping it up. Find the same balance here that we did earlier. So bring your palms together and lower your left elbow towards the outside of your right knee, keeping the right shoulder back and open. And come back up through center, reach your arms apart, and press together. Lower your elbow towards your knee. Come on back up again, reach your arms apart, and prayer twist, elbow to the outside of the knee, or to the top of the knee. <clears throat> Come back up, reach your arms apart, swing the back arm forward, lift up nice and tall, and bring your hands down, step back to your down dog. So take a little break here. You can come down onto your hands and knees if you want or pedal out your down dog. And sway your hips. And step your right foot in a little bit, reach your left leg up. Pull your heel to your hip, open up, like you're reaching your knee up toward the sky. And then pull your knee in tight, step your foot forward, rise up, crescent lunge. So take a moment to establish your foundation. Really root down through your feet, like pay attention to how you're tipping your pelvis. Try and see if you can find a neutral pelvis. And twist to your left. Bring your hands together and keeping the twist, just blow your elbow towards your knee. Come on back up, reach your arms apart. Like you're spreading your wings. And then bring your hands together, tip. Elbow to knee, come on back up, reach your arms apart. One more time, come back together. Prayer twist. And come on back up, reach your arms apart. Sweep the back arm forward and up. And step back to your downward facing dog. Again, just kind of move around here in your down dog. Good, bring your right leg up again. Bring your heel to your hip, open up through the hip. Step your leg all the way forward. This time rotate the back heel down. 
Now, if you have a block or something to elevate your hand off the floor, feel free to use that, or you could even place your hand on your ankle. But don't push down too much. Think of like just using that as a little bit of support. Or you can keep your hand on the floor. And we're gonna open up to triangle pose. And reach your arm forward and back and forward and back, coming back to triangle pose. Sweep your back arm forward. Lift your back heel up and turn your toes about 30 or 45 degrees off to the side. Press down through your heel and press forward through your front knee. So we're gonna come up into warrior one. Keep pressing down through that back heel. Keep arching up through your heart, pressing your knee forward. And notice the arch in both feet. You want them active, so you don't want the arches to flatten, but you wanna create a lift. You can do that by pressing into your big toe mounts and isometrically dragging them towards your heels. Good, now lower your hands down. And we're gonna play with revolved triangle. So keep pressing into both feet. Now you are welcome to step your feet a little closer to each other if you want. And you're welcome to use something for height underneath your left hand if you want. Take your right hand to your sacrum and notice if it's tilting up and forward, if it's like way off kilter. Do the best you can to kind of make your pelvis parallel to the floor. So you're gonna pull your right hip back, maybe lift your left hip up a little bit, and then start to twist toward your front leg. Keep pulling that right hip back and then release your hand. We'll revolve triangle. Try and keep that back heel down, it's challenging. Good, lower your hand back down. Step back to your down dog. We'll do the other side. So sweep your left leg up, heel to hip, knee open, step your foot all the way forward. Rotate your back heel down, straighten your front leg, and think of this hip, this outer hip is not winging out to the side, but instead you're kind of tucking it underneath. You're pulling it back towards your heel and in towards the inner thigh of your right leg start to open up into your triangle pose. Nice full opening. Pressing down through your feet, reaching up through your fingertips. And bring your right hand back down. Now pivot your back foot. You might want to bring your foot in a little bit, but you want to pivot the toes so that they're diagonally off to the side, somewhere between 30 and 45 degrees. Press into your back heel. So kind of lean back a little bit. Keep the back heel grounded, the arch lifted, and press your left knee forward, rise up, warrior one. Nice big heart opening, chest opening. Pushing through that heel, reaching forward through the front knee, feeling that tension that is created that can, if done mindfully, it can create a, a nice opening. Bring your hands back down. Straighten your front leg. And we're gonna do a revolve triangle. So just like we did on the other side, think of pulling your left hip crease back. Okay, so the tendency is for your hips to wing out to the side. We wanna bring them in line. Bring your hand to your sacrum. See if it's relatively flat. And start to open up and twist. Keep pressing down through that back heel. And bring your hand back down. Step back to downward facing dog. Walk your hands forward. And come into Utkatasana, knees bent, reach your arms up. Then wrap your left elbow underneath your right elbow, coming into eagle arms. Press off your feet, reach your left leg back into a variation of warrior three your arms twist around each other. And bend your back knee, step your foot forward, coming back into your Utkatasana. Reach your arms up, separate your arms, and then wrap the right arm underneath. Eagle arms, again with the right arm on the bottom. 
and then pick your right foot up, reach it back, or a variation of warrior three. And bend your knees, step it back forward, reach your arms up, and hands by your sides. So if you have some blocks, it would be nice to have them handy. We're gonna incorporate half moon and revolved half moon into our flow. So when you inhale, stretch your arms up. And then your exhale, forward fold. Step back into plank. Lower down. Cobra pose, rise up. Lower back down. Press back to your down dog. Step your left foot in a little bit, reach your right leg up. Up, 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 up toward the sky. Then heel to your hip, knee to your chest. Step your foot all the way forward. And just kind of rock back and forth, bending one knee at a time. And keep, you can straighten both legs here if you can, maybe you can't, but work towards that and just feel that nice opening stretch in the back of your hamstrings. If it's too much, bend your knee, tuck your, your pelvis a little bit. If you want a little more, kind of lift, think of lifting up through the back of your hip. And shift your weight forward into your right foot and open up, half moon. So stack your hips, stack your shoulders, reach your top arm up. Keep this top leg really high, as high as you can for now and maybe gaze up toward the sky. So now lower your top hand down, square your hips, very similar to what we just did in Revolve Triangle, and see if you can start to twist from your torso, keeping that back leg lifted, Revolved Half Moon. Lower your top hand down, step your foot back, rise up, crescent lunge, and open up, warrior two. And think of your lifting up from your pelvic floor and stretching out through your arms and then reach back, reverse your warrior. Come all the way forward, rest your form on your thigh and reach your top arm forward. And reach up and back, reverse your warrior. Windmill the arms, step back, cheer down dog. Step your right foot in a little bit, sweep the left leg up. Pull your heel to your hip, draw your knee into your chest, step all the way forward, rise up, crescent lunge, and open up, warrior two. And notice the tilt of your pelvis here. So instead of tilting it forward, see if you can level it as best you can. A little tilt is fine, but just be aware and mindful of what you're doing and why you're doing it. Then reach your arms out, reach up and back, reverse your warrior. Come forward, rest your form on your thighs, sweep your from up into side angle, and reach up and back, reverse your warrior again. Wind of the arms. Forward facing dog. So now let's do the left side. Inhale, sweep your left leg up. Pull your knee into your chest. Step your foot all the way forward. And just kind of rock back and forth between your feet and step into your left foot. You can use a support or a lift underneath your left hand if you want. Reach the right leg up, stack your hips, stack your shoulders, reach your right arm up toward the sky. So lift this uh, right leg up nice and high, maybe gaze up toward the sky, towards your hand. Both legs are strong. And lower your right hand down, square your hips. Keep lifting this back leg up, lifting up through your belly and your ribs, and begin to twist toward your standing leg. Keep reaching that top leg nice and high, keeping it as straight as you can. Open up. Good, lower your top hand down, step back into crescent lunge, and open up, warrior two. Again, take a moment to adjust your stance, tilt to the pelvis, stretch your 
left knee forward and reach back with your hands and come all the way forward again rest your forearm on your thigh reach your right arm forward for a side angle and reach up and back again reverse your warrior and windmill the arms step back into your down dog so maybe bring your knees down and take a little rest in child's pose just letting everything soften, relax. And then lift your hips, tuck your toes, stretch back into your downward facing dog. And walk your feet forward. Lower your hips, Utkatasana. And press down through your hips. Open up, come to Tadasana, standing pose. Take a moment to appreciate the flow of energy in your body. Maybe a feeling of being very grounded and uplifted at the same time. And how does that feel to you? So we're gonna play with Eagle Pose next. Next, and I feel like Eagle Pose is the ultimate twisty pose because your arms are wrapped, your legs are wrapped, Everything is kind of wrapped in and it really teaches you how to hug in, hug into that midline, draw your energy inward so then you can kind of burst out and open. So I'll do one side facing you and another side, <laughs> the other side like facing so you can see me from the side view. So start with your feet about hip distance apart, bend your knees with weight in your heels, reach your arms up. Shift your weight into your left foot and bring your right ankle across sink down nice and low so keeping your knee bent keeping your hips low slide your knees together and see if you can wrap your toes around your inner ankle or just like press the outside of your foot into the outside of your ankle so either wrap or press and then now our left leg well our top this leg is wrapped around we're gonna do the same thing so wrap your Right arm underneath your left arm. And let's see if we can sink down. Whoops. <laughs> see if we can sink down a little deeper and maybe touch your elbows to your knees. And then as you come up, just slowly release some of that tension. Reach your arms out and come back to stand. And pause for a moment too. Just kind of listen inward, notice how you're feeling. And now we'll do the same thing on the other side. So come into your Utkatasana. Pick your other leg up, whichever leg you did into. Cross your ankle above your knee, sink your hips down. And then think of squeezing your knees together and wrapping your toes around your ankle. Bring your Left elbow in, wrap your right arm underneath. Palms together or back of the hands together. And see if you can sink a little bit lower. Like you're coming into the eagle's nest. Maybe touching your elbows to your knees. And then as you come out, come out slowly. So you can unwrap your arms, unwrap your legs. Keep your arm and leg out to the side. And come back to your Tadasana, standing pose, mountain pose. Release your hands by your sides. And just take a moment again to connect to the earth, connect to what you're feeling inside, connect to this whole body, the physical body, the emotional body, spiritual body, like all of it, maybe you feel like you're coming together. Maybe you feel the spirit of the eagle. Maybe you feel like the wrapping of vines, just like really connecting into nature. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up and then your exhale forward fold. Widen your feet apart. We're gonna come into a squat. So whatever you like to do for squatting, just sink your hips down, reach your arms forward, let your head hang, and then lower your hips to the floor. Slowly lower onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest and just circle around on your hips. And we're gonna do, it's really one of my favorite twists. 
So shift your hips over a little bit to the right. Straighten your left leg on the floor and your right leg up in the air. Take your left hand to the outside of your right leg, wherever it will reach. And with control, start to bring your leg across your body. Nice and slow. So what you can try, what you can try if you like, is to press the outside of your left foot into the floor to activate your left leg and really the activation spreads through your body. Press the inside edge of your right foot into the floor and think of opening this right hip point away from your ribs. So creating a little space here and you can do that um, even if it moves like a fraction of a of a millimeter. Like you might feel a, a sense of release and relief in your body. So press down for just like maybe two breaths, really activating the body. And then on your next exhale, relax. Let everything relax. And we'll just stay here for maybe four or five more breaths. Holding this twist, maybe feeling, maybe you're feeling a big release all along the back of your glutes. Or maybe you're just feeling like a mental release. Like some, like you were able to let go of something that was has been bothering you or weighing on you. Maybe you just feel a little lighter. So we all might be feeling something a little bit similar and something a little different at the same time. So pull your right hip back to the ground to bring your right leg up. If you need to center yourself, center yourself on your mat and slowly lower the right leg all the way down. And once your heel touches, you can shift your hips a little bit to the left Bring your left leg up. Take your right hand to the outside of your left leg and bring your left leg across. Nice and slow in control. So you're not dropping your foot to the floor, you're kind of, I was gonna say levitating your foot to the floor, but usually levitation is up, but it's that softly, like it's a soft energy. And press into the outside edge of your right foot, press to the inside edge of your left foot. See if you can create a little space in this, this hip joint here. Really keep your body actively engaged for just two breaths. And on your next exhale, relax and let go. Let everything soften. We'll just stay here again for four or five breaths. down to the ground to elevate your left leg back up center your hips slowly lower that left leg down like in slow motion and pull your knees up into your chest widen your knees to the side of your ribs bring your feet up use your hands to encourage your knees closer to the floor and try and make your feet as parallel to each other as you can. Thinking of creating a flat surface on the sole of your foot. So pulling the pinky toe side of your foot down and the big toe side of your foot up. And then if you can reach your hands up without like rolling up like this, just relax here on your happy baby. Maybe rock a little bit from side to side. And gently hug your knees into your chest. See if you can hug your knees in enough that your hips just 
naturally kind of lift off the floor so there's a little bit of space under here. Then relax your hips back down. Float your legs up and float your arms up in dead bug pose so that your whole back is relaxed on the floor. And your feet that have been doing all this work are just elevating. They're just hovering like clouds above your hips and your hands as well, just hovering above your shoulders. Let yourself feel completely relaxed, completely at peace and at ease. We'll just hover here a little bit longer. And once again, give yourself a nice sweet hug and stretch out for Savasana. You're welcome to lift your legs up against the wall. So you bring your hips close to the wall and elevate your legs on the wall. That can be really nice. Similar to dead bug pose, but your legs are supported by the wall and your arms can be by your side. Otherwise, just lay flat on your back. Make yourself comfortable. Feel your whole body relaxing, letting go, surrendering to each moment as it comes and goes. And I'm going to stay here with you for about a minute or so, maybe a little longer. And you are welcome to stay as long as you want. But at least let's just have you know, one or two minutes of savasana, it's actually really important to allow your body the ultimate gift of truly letting go of a deep relaxation with awareness. Focus on your exhales, maybe being a little longer than your inhales. Focus also on the softness, the feeling of letting go. So I'll be quiet so that you can just listen to the music and, and maybe even listen to the emptiness of your mind. If you can be that relaxed. your arms over your head and stretch out through your fingers and toes and whenever you're ready bend your knees and gently roll to your side and pause for a moment just letting everything absorb so that your awareness grows and your gratitude grows and keeping your eyes closed, use your hands and gently press up to a comfortable seat. And please bring your hands together in front of your heart. And just remember a quote from Kurt Vonnegut that it just brings a smile to my face. It's so simple and so profound and so, I don't know, lighthearted. Everything is nothing with a twist. 
So what we think of as everything can really be nothing. We just choose a different pro, uh, perspective. We put a little twist on it. And you could even reverse that, like nothing is everything with a twist. So those little things that feel like nothing, maybe that they add up to be an everything. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this practice. I hope you feel like super great. And I thank you so much for joining me. Um, please leave me a comment below, tell your friends, and there's gonna be a lot more classes like this. I'm going to be creating a membership site and there'll be longer classes, a little more in depth. So um, please leave me any requests that you might have and hope to see you soon.